Hey yo guys, what's up? This is Vecha La Vita. I'm here to show you how to connect your phone as a webcam. Also, how to get your sound from your DJ mixer to your sound card to your computer. So, without wasting any time, yeah, we're gonna be showing the phones, uh, the phone way. So, for you to be able to do that, you need to download an app called Iron. It's Iron. Uh, this is the app you need to download. It's Iron. Yeah, you need to download this app on your phone, also on your on your laptop. So this is how it shows on your on your laptop. So you need to click on that. I've already opened it on my phone. You need to click on that. So now it's linked. Yeah, yeah. I've connected a USB cable from my laptop to my phone. So I didn't use the the Wi-Fi connection. So I just connected straight the cable. Right. So before you can link them, this is what you need to do on your phone. Uh, on your phone, you need to go to settings, settings, and then go to the last option that says about phone. You need to click on there about phone. After clicking about phone, this will show up. Uh, then you need to go to where it says software information. You need to click on there software information after software information this will show up then you have to click on the where it says build number you have to press this seven times seven times about seven times there until it shows i think it's, it's gonna ask for your password then you enter a password then by then you have unlocked the developer option then you need to go back Go back to your settings as again. Remember last time we, we only had up until here where it says about phone. Now there's an added option which is developer option. Then you need to cl click on there. Click on the developer option. After clicking on the developer option, you need to enable it. It must be on here. And then USB debugging must be on. So if all those settings are pashasha, you have done all the things that you need. So you just, now I'm going to show you how you add them, how you link. Then you open the app on your phone. Also open it on the, on the laptop. So now how do you add it to, to OBS? This is how. Here you have your scenes. Here scenes sources audio mixer so we're not gonna worry about this for now so scene two there's currently nothing here yeah? so we're gonna add our camera we go to the add source uh, we click on video capture device and then you can rename you can rename it to whatever we click on ok then by default this device is uh, it will show our a laptop webcam so we don't want our laptop web webcam so we go to iron web iron webcam so one thing you have to remember now is that uh, here iron it, our iron is on camera one so also here we are looking for iron uh, webcam one so you click on there boom we have it on our obs then the default setting might be not the, the size you want so you're gonna click custom and then we customize it we make to we make it to the size that we prefer for now we're just going to use 720 right you can use your 1080 whatever 4k yeah so here i'm gonna use 720 then boom then I have my I have my phone as a webcam. There's no lag. Everything is in real time. So that's why I prefer hooking up the phone with a cable, not via Wi-Fi. Because via Wi-Fi you'll be having some lag. Mm. 
robot movements so here everything is in like you'd be in sync with the beat everything uh, hey forgive me for the background noise man my <laughs> my little ones are busy in the background yeah so this is how you you add your your video source via uh, uh, a, a mobile camera so now we come to scene 3 we want to add another camera so now we will be using a webcam the, the webcam I'll, I'm using a C is Logitech C920 so I'm gonna you come to the add sources again video capture we can name it whatever camera 2 camera whatever okay remember its default is our laptop webcam we don't want that so we search for webcam c920 there you go we click on there then it shows there is our webcam then we select the size custom then we select the size we want 720 right okay now this is our webcam this one is our mobile phone right so i i didn't tweak anything uh there is no added uh, color correction uh as you can see uh my my camera uh, my mobile phone is more brighter than this one so i don't know which one you'd be preferring so if it's more brighter then there is some ways to to adjust it but for now we're gonna use it as they are right then now you want to add uh, you want to add the sound now you have connected i've showed you how you connect the the camera webcam i mean the the mobile web, uh, uh, the mobile cam also the webcam the webcam also have the similar connection just a usb into your 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 laptop no settings needed as as our mobile just straightforward now we're going to be talking about sound right so now how do we get this sound to our obs so i'll be showing you with the, the sound card that i have uh i don't know this is the this is the lexicon alpha right so i've hooked up the the master the master output from from the DJ mixer is connected to to my to my text mixer into my sound card but you can go direct from the DJ mixer to the sound card so your your output on the DJ mixer needs to come to the input so these are my inputs this is left and right this is my left and right uh, 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 uh. Uh, outputs coming from the sound that's coming from the DJ mixer into into the the sound card so basically that's what you need uh, then my sound card is connected obviously it's connected to my laptop with a USB with a USB cable so to test okay now We've connected everything. My sound card is connected. Uh, my output from the DJ mixer out. It, it can be your record out. Uh, it can be your master out. Anything that's an output from, from, from this DJ mixer will work just fine. So for now, I'm using master out. Master output out into my input output input output from this goes to the input to this right so now how do i edit so again in your sources you can just edit here you add and then now we want to add the sound now you go to the audio input capture that's why you click 
you can name it as well i can name it lexicon alpha whatever or i can leave it as it is as long as i understand what it is then device then here you select your sound card your yours will be saying something else depending on what uh, sound card you're using so this one is saying lexicon alpha in and out usb device so i click on there then I've added it. Uh, this is video capture device. So I'm gonna play something a little bit. I'm gonna open it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not sure if you're hearing the sound. Okay. So it's very clean. The sound is very clean. So I don't want to play it for long because we might be getting some some copyright some copyright infringement thing going on. Right. So now you've connected both of them. The sound is good. And then now you need to to work on how you change transition. The music is playing in the background. The DJ is busy. This is your camera. This is my phone camera. This is my webcam. So here's how you change. Let's say this one, this camera was facing only my DJ mixer. So the main camera will be this one, my phone one. But as soon as I come to, to mix and then you'll be fade, you can fade, you can cut, or you can even move manually then you'll be moving here as I as I mix and after mixing then go back to after mixing then you go back to the main camera you can add multiple cameras yeah man I hope uh, this I hope this will will help you oh also if you need to add uh, a logo let's say we need to add a logo on this yeah, you go to add again, add source, your images, you can name it as well, and then you can browse, uh, I'm gonna browse for, I'm gonna browse for, for the C7 logo, uh, let's see, then boom, I have the C7 logo, but it's big, it's very big, so I need to adjust it to the size that I want so you we have all those parameters that you can use to to adjust so I need to adjust it so your your image must be a PNG image uh, so it, if it's big it's better because you won't lose any picture quality on the on your on your on your on your logo so there I have my logo there that's the C7 logo because if you make your logo small now you'll be trying to stretch it out and then now it will pixelate so yeah man that's about it that's how you that's how you do it so till we meet next time man oh yeah